hardest part of my fitness journey was figuring out what to eat every day. Working out, exercising, that's only 30% of staying fit. If you want progress, you have to eat right. So then comes the question, well, what do I eat? There's so many options to choose from when it comes to food and there's three different meals and then you got snacks and then drinks and it can be pretty hard for a beginner to know the route to take when it comes to food and nutrients. I'm here to give you five of the meals I eat usually throughout the week and that I've been eating for the past nine months. And while I talk about these meals, I'll go into details about nutrients you should be eating every day and I'll debunk a lot of popular myths about food. So for breakfast one, we'll start off by making a protein dense smoothie. You wanna make sure you eat three meals a day. Do not skip breakfast. It's vital to starting your day. Protein powder is gonna be the first thing we use. I don't like using whey protein because it makes me sick. Um, berries have the lowest amount of sugar out of all fruits. So I like to use some strawberries or blueberries. Cottage cheese has a ton of protein. So we're gonna put that in there. I like using soy milk. You can use any milk you want. I have a liquid in there and then we're all gonna blend it in here. So I have about a cup of the soy milk. I'm just gonna pour it in there. And then put in about half a cup of cottage cheese. And I, oh! And then we put in our strawberries and the protein powder. And like I said, you can use any berries you want. Um, berries have the lowest amount of sugar, so I like using those. And I like to use ice because I like it to be cold, you know what I mean? I don't like a warm smoothie, like I want it to be fresh. So we're going to blend it all in here. And you don't have to make your smoothie exactly like mine. You can add some seeds if you want. I like to add chia seeds, I actually ran out. Or you can add flax seeds, you can add more milk and more protein powder, you know, change up the consistency if you want. Second thing we're going to have is breakfast tacos. I like to put sauce in mine. Again, you don't have to if you don't want to. I just like I think sauce in mine. I have corn tortillas here. If you want to go the healthier route, use whole wheat tortillas. I run up whole wheat, so I'm using corn. But try to stay away from enriched flour in the ingredients, which is flour, tortillas, uh, eggs have a ton of protein, okay, a ton. Three eggs have about like 18 grams of protein, which is a lot, so you wanna include those. And then any kind of meat will have a lot of protein, so bacon obviously has a good amount of protein. Ooh, look at this form. Chef Ramsay who? Never heard of her. Anyway, the eggs, you know how to make eggs. Just put them on the skillet, you know, cook them up, do whatever. I like them scrambled, so yeah and then i made the bacon already and then i'm just gonna like apply that sauce on there real cute real cute so this is what i eat for breakfast most days um oatmeal is my go-to like i eat this like literally every day so we start off with flax seeds i actually ran out of chia seeds i usually like to put that in my oatmeal but flax seeds is a good second chia seeds just has more protein in it I like quick one minute oats. I don't like the traditional oats, whatever it's called. That stuff is like really thick. Like I just don't like it. Um, again, berries have the lowest amount of sugar. So we're gonna put that in there. Put in my soy milk in there too. So we're not gonna eat oatmeal by itself. There's no flavor. So I don't like to just put sugar in there cause that's, we don't wanna add processed sugar. So I like to add syrup in my oatmeal. It has a lot less than honey. So it's a great alternative to sugar. So before I warm it up, I like to put in water, then I warm it up in the microwave, and then I add the milk. Cause I, I don't like just putting milk and then warming it up. For soy milk, it doesn't like microwave well. So you wanna microwave it with water. Then you add the milk afterwards, okay. Then we add the flax seeds, and then I'm adding the syrup. And after that, I'm gonna add the blueberries. I like adding the blueberries because it's like, it's an extra taste, you know what I mean? You can add bananas if you want to. That tastes real good. So for lunch, I usually don't have time to make a whole gourmet meal. Like, who does, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm making a sandwich. I'm going to put mustard in my sandwich for the taste. And then spinach, instead of lettuce, we're going to add spinach. Like, spinach has so many nutrients in it. 
fish, sardines. Fish have a lot of a lot of protein. And then we're gonna have honey ham. You can have turkey or whatever kind of meat you want. I like to put pickles for the taste. And then you can add any cheese you want. I have gouda here. And instead of mayo, we're gonna use avocado. I know, brilliant, crazy idea. Has a lot of nutrients in it. And for bread, you wanna use whole wheat, but I ran out, so I'm using honey wheat. And using these same ingredients, you can make a whole burger. Like, you don't have to make a sandwich. You can just put some tomatoes, use some buns, bam, it's a burger. For lunch, again, we are going to eat another sandwich, PB&J. I'm pretty sure everyone has made this. This stuff is actually so good because it has so much protein. Peanut butter has a ton of protein, eight grams per two tablespoons, which is, I think, a lot. And you can add any jam or jelly you want. The thing you want to focus on here is the peanut butter. For dinner, we have some salmon with some broccoli and some mushrooms. Salmon is a fish, obviously. I told you before, fish have a ton of protein. You wanna stock up on fish. You wanna eat fish like every day. So much protein, so good for you, so healthy. There's no sugar in this whole meal. Like, that's insane, that's great. Broccoli, you wanna eat vegetable, about a cup of any vegetable every day. I like cauliflower, broccoli, spinach. Tomatoes and lettuce, that doesn't count as a vegetable, honestly. Mushrooms are great. They're really healthy, so I like to put that mixed in with my broccoli. So make sure to spray your thing with Pam. I mean, sometimes I forget and then it sticks to the foil. Look at that technique. Like, So this seasoning, um, you can use any seasoning you want. These are the things that I like to use. There's literally a seasoning called salmon rub, so <laughs> yeah. Um, with seasonings, you want to try to aim for salt-free seasonings or just don't put a ton of salty seasonings because that's a lot of sodium, which is not good for you. I put it on broil for like 5 to 10 minutes and then I put it on bake for like 15 to 25 minutes and yeah, it was good. And then we just slice up these mushrooms. We're gonna put some oil on the skillets and then put our mushrooms on there. And we're gonna just cook it and flip it over and stuff until the mushrooms are like brown on both sides. That's how you know it's done. And then I just separate the broccoli like so, <laughs> this form like, I'm really coming for Chef Ramsay's career. I like to put my broccoli in a bowl and then put water in it and then put a cover on top. Microwave that for like two minutes and it's perfectly steamed. Like it, it's so good, it's perfect. And then our salmon here is done. And we're gonna add our mushrooms to our broccoli and it's done, this is it. And if that's not enough food for you, feel free to add some rice as a side or maybe some shrimp. That'd be a great topping on top of the salmon. And that is the end of the video. If you guys liked this, give it a big thumbs up. Comment below what you wanna see in more videos. I'm planning to make more health and fitness videos. It all depends on what you guys want me to make. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next time.